hey guys who doesn't like automation now n8n is a platform that helps you automate so many tasks virtually everything is possible to be automated here is the catch is where we have plans that cost you twenty dollars per month and fifty dollars per month for the pro but if you could host on your own but if you could have a self-hosting platform where you can host your own n8n platform so this is what we are going to do in this video we are going to host n8n on aws now all this comes from the docs which is available in the n8n website but again we have a pretty complicated setup here comprising of kubernetes and virtual machines but i'm going to show you a very simple way of using just docker and the virtual machines so let's get started with aws console let's go ahead and sign in with our aws so i click on sign in using root user email so i'm a root user let me go ahead and sign up so once you sign up uh, we need to search for ec2 instance ec2 these are virtual servers in the cloud and we are going to use one of the free instances that we get here so i click on launch instance here and then we need to put a name for the instance let me put it a youtube n8n and then we need to select let's say ubuntu here and i have a free one year tire going on so i can just select this uh, free tier and the architecture is 64 bit you can see that we have these three micro here a free tire and we need to make this key pair login so we are going to use a login and for this login you can uh, select uh, an already existing login which is the batch 7 key here well, let me show you how to create a new login so just click on create new key pairs uh give a name for that so let's say youtube and we have this rsa encryption here and we want a private key file uh, which is dot pem format and you click on key pair uh, and we will get this youtube.pem so uh, we download this this is a very secret private key that you should not share with anybody this is used to log in to your aws instance connect to the ec2 instance and that is so so i click on uh, allow ssh traffic from anywhere i can allow ssh traffic from the internet i can allow http traffic from the internet here next uh, we see that we have this one gb and uh, gp3 that's okay uh, all i need to do right now is i can click on launch instance and this is going to create an instance an ec2 instance a free ec2 instance uh, that we will be using to host our n8n servers here so i click on the instance then i need to add a custom tcp rule uh, because our n8n runs on a particular port of tcp so i need to click and add one more rule here so i click on security here and then click on security groups and then click on edit inbound rules here i'm going to add one rule uh, this is a custom tcp port range is 5678 and we can put this open to all so 0000 slash 0 and just save this rule now we have completed uh, the instance it's running so i click on instance and you can see i have, uh, I have these old uh, instances which are running the instance that we have created just now is this youtube n8n instance and this is initializing and this will be running in just a short amount of time but right now uh, let's go ahead and uh, set up the n8n so if you remember we have downloaded the youtube.pem that's a private key so we should not share uh, this private key with anyone this is a private key that's, that will be used to, to connect with the aws instance also we need a linux system to use so i'm using a windows system for linux here wsl i click on wsl and this will start up my wsl instance here or linux instance so basically you can see the list of files that i have so ls so these are different folders that i have i'm going to create a new folder let's say make a directory 10 and youtube so this is my new directory i go inside uh make i go inside 10 uh, and uh youtube so change directory so i'm inside youtube now so this is where i need to put this secret password that we have so dot pem i copy this dot pem and then i go to this linux system i go to ubuntu i go to home i go to prompt and then i should be able to see the folder here so 10 youtube i paste it here so once you are there and you can see uh in our linux instance as well if we list the files now i have this file youtube.pem now since we have the private key now we are going to connect to the aws instance so what we need to do is chmod 400 and put in the name of the 
key so this will only let me read this private key from the admin perspective only and it is blocked for any other purpose so that's what chmod 400 means then i'm going to x ssh and connect to my instance so this will be ssh dash i and that will be youtube.pem i'm gonna say ubuntu at the rate and you go back to the instance which is running there we'll see this public key here so we copy this public key and we paste it here and then we press enter now this should connect me to the aws ec2 instance so i say yes and click on enter now and you can see that we have been added and we are inside if i clear this you can see i'm inside this ubuntu environment which means i'm inside the e2 ec2 instance of the aws next a couple of uh, tidies so we need to update so sudo is an admin command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade so we are updating and upgrading uh, the different libraries that are available uh, in the ubuntu instance that's done next we need uh, to install docker and docker compose because uh, this is what we're going to use to host our instance uh, the any then instance you're going to use docker compose and docker files next uh, we're going to enable docker and next we're going to run this command then we need to exit once and then again connect to the ubuntu instance so this is our ubuntu instance running we have installed everything we refreshed the libraries we have installed all the necessary requirements then we are going to make a directory known as n8n and your cd inside the n8n so we have this n8n we're going to create a new file known as uh, docker compose.yml and inside that uh, we need to paste this version 3 services is n8n the image is n8n.io slash n8n so this is the actual docker image which is available on docker hub so we are going to pull this image we're going to enable these ports 5678 from the container to the host and uh, this is the environment so n8n secure cookies false so once you do that we need to say control o enter and control x so we have put the docker compose file then we can just docker compose up dash d so this is going to pull n8n from docker hub and it's going to set up the n8n instance on your ec2 instance that's done now what you can do is you can go to any tab here on the browser and you can copy this uh, address we can go to http and put in this address and 5678 so press enter this will take you to the login page and voila you are successfully integrated n8n and we have successfully used and set up n8n on our instance which is running the ec2 instance and in my case it's a free tire for a year which means for a year i'm free to use n8n on my setup no data leakage and everything is so so personal now we can set this up in email so let me put our email so let's say prompt engineer 48 and let's put in a first name prompt engineer and password let me put it a very easy password or you can use a strong password that's given here i want to receive security updates i click on next and this will take me to this location so it's like just an onboarding process so education role describes you data science maybe myself how big is a company and i heard it from youtube let's get started and get paid features for free forever so you can ask for a free license key and you can put in the license key and you can use this some of the paid features of uh, n8n for free so what you can do is that i have already asked to send it to my mail if i go to my mail i should be able to see uh the secret key will be available in my mail in just a second but now let's try this out so let's start from scratch and try if this really works so let's go to the first step if the first step would be click here and let's say uh trigger manually okay okay and just click here plus ai and ai agent maybe and this is our agent so i can remove this so when chat message is received uh, our ai agent will give out a reply so the chat model we can use uh, different models uh, that we have here but for now let's go and use the open routers uh, chat model and here we need to put our api keys uh, so we need to connect with the new credentials you can go to open router open router 
API keys and you can go to open router here take an API key so I click on login here and then I go to API keys here create a new API key give it some name and click on create so this is my API key I'll go back to the workflow click on credentials create new credentials paste in the key and click on save let's see if it's connected so we can see that this is connected connection tested successfully so the api key works now so which means uh, that we have this open router connected now if you ask any question this should reply so we open the chat here and now we're going to send some question here so for example what oh before that we need to select the model here so let's see the type of model that we can use so a uh, gpt 4.1 mini i don't think that will be available for us so what you can use is for example deep seek chat here and we select this model now we ask the question so what is uh, 7 plus 9 and ask the question so we can see the output here is thinking so this model is not allowed you can see a different free model let's try this one uh, minestrel 3 billion and then we hide chat and start a chat again so i say what is seven plus nine and we look at the output here expecting something so the sum of seven plus nine is 16. so we can now set up complicated and your personal workflows on n8n you can save this n8n this workflow and you can rename this workflow for example let's say youtube one so we can rename this and this will always work because the instance is running on aws and we have set up the n8n server on aws ec2 instance and in my case it's going to work for free for a year how great is that now if you want to learn more about Gemma 3 you can check out this video if you want to learn about how to use gemini cli you can check out this video and lastly i would like to thank the sponsor of this video clap.app using which you can create so many short videos from your long form content now if you are a youtuber who is trying to make short videos from the long videos this is a must-have tool i'll paste in the link in the description you can go through the link and get a login for clap.ai as you can see i have different short videos gives the virality score you can go ahead and download the hd quality you can do the editing as well there are different presets that are available here position of the subtitles and you can do all sorts of changes here but mostly you don't need to touch the settings because it's so fine-tuned and the outputs are amazing i use this tool a lot and it would be great if you give it a try so i'll see you in another video have a nice day